Like you said, I just broke off. Hunter and Andy are right there. Hey. Feeding fish and catching fish because you feed a lot of fish when you're out here uh, sheephead fishing. We're in about 49 feet of water, guys. So I'm going to show you what we do. This is really simple. Three inch, three ounce egg weight. You can get all this at PSA, Palmetto State Armory right there in Savannah. So you're going to... Well, I like to double mine over. I should have prepped this before I hit play. So I double my braid over. Push it through your weight. It's real easy when the wind's blowing. Push it through there just like that after it takes you 10 minutes to, to th thread the needle. This is what we're using. The Spro swivels, guys. Don't get the cheap stuff on your swivels. I've lost lots of good fish when I first started because I was trying to save money. There's certain things you save money on. Uh, fishing ain't one of them. Oh, bud, Hunter, show off that catch, bud, to the oh, camera. Oh, I thought you were head camming. No, I'm not head camming it, bud. Oh, bud, Hunter reeled that in all by himself. Guys, I doubled over my braid, okay? Tie it to the swivel, double it over, tie your fisherman's knot, okay? I just boogered it up, so I'll do it again. So you can see that's doubled over braid. Just go through there like so. And just do your fisherman's knot five or six wraps and then pull it through boom just like that guys you got your tagline you can take your scissors that you can also get at psa cut those right there like that guys i like to use 30, 20 to 40 pound leader Usually 30, today we got 40. Cause that's what we had at the house, okay? Cut you about 18, 24 inches. You're not gonna use that much, but you're gonna cut off your mono. And the first thing you're gonna do, you got your number one, you gotta have a snell on the hook. See how that hook shape? You gotta have that, all right? You're gonna come through here you're gonna do 10 or so wraps. And my hands are cramping up. Whoa! 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 Uh-oh, Andy's reminding Hunter that he, that he ain't catching fish. Oh, oh. get them! Oh, man, oh, man. Sounds like we're sheephead fishing. I'm walking in circles. Guys, right here, you got this. You can go right into the bottom part of that swivel. You know, I've had people ask me, what about fraying the line, this, that, and the other. Today, I started with like a two-foot piece of top shot mono. I just broke that off on structure with my braid. Um, guys, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. By the time that bad boy is frayed, you're gonna lose your sinker, okay? I don't care how quote-unquote good you are at this. You got that? Here you go. You want one or two? Yeah, guys, I don't know if I said that, that's a one on. If you're out here targeting giants, like, you know, if I come out and I only want big sheep's head, I, I, I like to bring, uh, I like to use three odd hooks. So usually you just miss the little one so you don't waste time. Take your fiddler diddler. Look at that cute little critter right there. You're gonna take him, you're gonna, you're gonna hook him upside down. Hard part of the shell, right? Just like an armored vehicle, guys, the weak part is on the bottom. So you're gonna poke through there. See how that point's barely shown? Then that sheep's head with his people like teeth, that teeth like my ex-girlfriend up there in Virginia, gonna nibble off his uh, legs here and eat the insides out. So uh, do that, 
Find you some structure, drop it down, reel you in a sheep's head.